Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all. In this session, we are going to do the analysis of protein. This is a very renowned database for getting the protein information. So this is a bioinformatics resource and database, which is highly required if you are related to bioinformatics, biochemistry and biotechnology. So in any project you are handling proteins. So this tool and this resource will be very important. I will be giving you the practical demonstration also. So let's start the session. So this is a Uniprod database. If you are a beginner, you can use this URL to come to this page. And depending on what project and what protein you are working on, you can search over this platform. So let's do one demo over here. So I will be using the same protein, maybe what we have used in gene card, but there we have used for gene purpose. Here we will get the protein related data. This is Uniprod site and database for protein analysis. So suppose you have to get the information about your protein in terms of sequence, function, family and domain, localization, or maybe structure data, family domain data, all sort of data you will get in one platform in one database. So last time we have done the analysis of BCL2 uh, at uh, gene card. So same protein we will be taking here for Uniprot analysis. So if you want to do the analysis of your protein, you have to type the name of your protein. For our analysis and demo purpose, we will be taking BCL2. So once you will type the BCL2 and if you will search, you will get the result like this. You can scroll the page here you can see the results are coming for homo sapiens also and for other organism also. So if your project is revolving around biomedical or homo sapien, in that case, we can narrow down. Or if you are working in protein or expression in different organism, in that case, you can see your organism related protein and you can narrow down accordingly. So for time being, BCL is having role in cancer. So we will be uh, clicking in human. So once you have uh, clicked the human, so we are getting BCL2 related data for human, but still the hits are very uh, high in number. So you, you have to be a little bit careful. You have to see the name of your protein because here while searching, it is taking BCL2 as a key. Uh, so BCL2 related protein, like protein, variant protein, all things are coming. So we should know the name of our gene the full form of our protein and in which organism it is expressing and what is the length. So in our case, it is BCL2. I know the name of my protein is apoptosis regulator BCL2. So if you will see this result, it's not BCL2 apoptosis regulator, but it's like protein or related protein. So if I will narrow down and scroll down so I can see and find out my uh, protein name. So this is apoptosis re regulator BAX, which is BCL2 associated. So this is also not our gene. This is our protein, it's correct name. The gene is also correct. The organism is also correct and the length is okay. So this ID is very important for further analysis, for documentation in your thesis, research article, you have to write it down somewhere or you have to document this thing. So this is the ID for our BCL2 protein, which we are doing the demo for uh, Homo sapiens. So you have to click here. Here in the left section, you can see what kind of data we will get for our protein purpose. So protein function, it's taxonomy, it's localization, what in terms of function, whether it is having some harmful or beneficial and accordingly its application and mutational studies, these kind of data we will get here. Any protein uh, post-translation modification related data, if you require, you can get it from here. Differential expression in different tissues and organ, uh, you can get it from here. Similarly, as biological function interaction in terms of cell signaling and pathways, we can find it out from here. If your work revolve around structure, the 2D and 3D information, you can get it here. The protein is a very, like it's a micromolecule. So different people will work in different part, different family and domain of that protein part. So if you are working at some particular part of that protein, then you have to do the analysis related to family and domain. 
And if you require sequences for further analysis, then you can get it from here. Similarly, the similar protein, what, when this information are updated, and if some miscellaneous information in terms of variant protein and other mutated protein are present, so you will get it from here. So the page will look like this because this is a protein, so it will come from genes, so all these gene information. It's summary form in terms of what it is having the role, the application and the function along with the publication and scientific PubMed ID. So you, if you want to uh, read and get the ideas in detail, you can read this research article just by clicking here because this is connected with the NCBI PubMed also. And this protein is having different molecular function, biological processes. So BCL2 is having diverse role. And depending on your projects, you have to find out what role is having. And then you have to go to this uh, that particular biological function and processes. So BCL2 is having role in cancer also and in viral, um, viral infections also. So accordingly to your project, your biological function and molecular things might be a little bit different. So uh, very specifically that time we have to choose so that we can get the detail ideas. Other than that, if you want to see the subcellular localization for your bioassay designing, for protein purification. So we should know our protein is intracellular or extracellular, whether it is present on membrane or um, mitochondria. or So we can like isolate and purify these protein while doing the targeted drug delivery also we should know the localization so depending on your different projects the localization in information is also very important about your protein so this information you can get it from here along with the publications thereafter the protein is having some role not all the proteins are causing diseases. Many proteins are useful for us. Many proteins are having some deleterious and uh, disease-related um, properties also. So here in biotech sector, what other scientists and other group are doing work, we can get it from here. So BCL2 is involved in cancer. So most of the people has worked to get the ideas about which amino acid is having important role. So here, mostly mutational data and this studies and information is present here. And if you will read these articles in detail, you will get the ideas what amino acid is important for a particular activity. And based on that, you can design your biomedical experiments also. So thereafter, post-translation modification is also important because differential expressions, the properties get changed with some specific amino acid post-translation modification. So these, uh, you can see like here, phosphothelination is getting um, uh, modified here and they have shown the publication also. So if you will read this article, you will get the ideas about its impact also. So based on that, we can utilize these information for other bio, uh, biomedical and other biological experiments. So post-translation modification data, we will get from here. Like as uh, we discussed in the gene card analysis, there we got the differential gene, in, uh, differential gene expression. In biology, we have to get the ideas about the expression of DNA, your RNA, your protein, metabolite in different tissues, organ, and different experimental cells. Here, you will get the protein expansion data in different organ and tissues. So all these data are present here. And after that, you know, protein-protein interaction and protein DNA, protein RNA, protein interaction with small molecules is having very important role in your biological pathways and processes and signaling. So all these data are present in interaction section. And then structure is important. So if the protein structure is already solved by NMR and crystallography, so along with your PDB ID, the structures and the visualization tools are present here. So in the upcoming videos, I will be showing you all the structure biology part also. And But for time being, you can get the 3D structures, the PDB from here, either the I code or maybe you can download the files for your drug designing, diagnostic, and vaccines related project. If you want the secondary structure, it's also present here. 
If you want the detail about the secondary structure, that's also mentioned here, like what amino acid to what amino acid is forming, helix, turn, beta strand. So all the description is also present here. After that, if you want the family domain important, because the protein is very uh, long in macromolecules. So this protein BCL2 is almost 239. Here, this is having four different motifs, BH1, BH2, BH3, and 4. So accordingly, people has characterized its role, its functionality, and all these things. And if you will read this article, once you will get the ideas, okay, this is beneficial or which is harmful, accordingly, we can modify for our biomedical and other uh, biotech-related projects. So motifs and domain data, you can get it from here. Sequence information is also present here. So your sequence, the size of the protein, everything is present here. If for your project you require faster sequence, you just have to click here. And from here, you can get it the faster sequence also. And similarly, if similar proteins are present, then these data are also here. And what, when this data and structures and what kind of bio uh, biological resources and tools they have used, all these descriptions are also present here. So according to your project, either you are a beginner or if you are a young researcher, you can come to this platform because in one platform, you will get the ideas about your protein in terms of its functionality, its role, how others people are using because this kind of data is not coming in one day or one year. It's a global data which is produced and validated by different globe with different scientists from the globe. So I would suggest do come to this platform for analysis of your projects and for your protein purpose also. Hope the session was relevant for you. If you have liked the session, I would request you to like, subscribe and share the information. If you have any queries and if you want to learn these things, you can approach me and drop me message also. And uh, do share these information among your scientific endeavor also. Thank you so much.